go with it. You get a massive card here, you know, International Fight Week. You're facing a, a legend of the sport in this spot. I mean, does this feel like a, a big moment in your career for you? Oh, yeah, the biggest. I'm stoked, man. I'm ready to get in there and get brawling, right? I love it. Looks like it should be a brawl. I, I wonder, I mean, Robbie's kind of like one of the most beloved figures in the sport, right? Is it, is it challenging at all to be like, my job is to go out there and send this dude into retirement with a loss? No. It's just another fight. You know, I've got to fight a few legends, so it's nothing new to me. I'm going to go in there. He's an opponent, and I'm going to try to punch him in the head. Very nice. Uh, prepared in, uh, in Wisconsin this time, is that right? What, what was due to the change-up, and how did that all come together? Well, the opportunity just occurred to go train over there with Duke and uh, with Ben Askren and a couple other high-level fighters, and it was dope, man. I got to get a lot of sparring in with a good southpaw, Jordan Newman. And uh, then I got to wrestle with Ben, got to work a lot of striking with Duke. It was just everything fell in place, and we went up there for five weeks. So I really missed my family. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to ask you about. It, like, it seemed like the training was high level. You being away from your family that long seems like a tough assignment. So is this something that you would do again, or you're like, that, that was once, and we'll never do that again? Eh, maybe again in the future, but not anytime soon. Definitely not this year again. You know, I, I missed my son's birthday not only because of here, but because of, you know, I have I was in Wisconsin. So, um, so I'm just, I miss my kids. Father's Day, I miss Father's Day. We almost left, me and my coach, we were like, yo, I'm done with this. We're going, we're going back. And then we were like, no. Prayed about it, and God's like, no, you got to stay out here and get your work done. So, so we stayed, and we kept out there, and now I'm ready to get it done. I love it. Made the sacrifice. Uh, obviously, uh, Robbie, a legendary brawler. I mean, this seems like a fight on paper that uh, could be an insane brawl, but there seems to be maybe a smart way to approach the fight as well. So are you thinking about this as like, let's be tactical, or is it like, let's go do what everybody I think wants to see us do? You guys all know me. Man, when I get in there, there's no telling what I'm going to do. If the takedown might be there, I might take it. If not, we're standing and banging. You know, that's how it goes with me. I just keep going wherever the fight flows. Yeah. Last thing for me, I mean, taking out a Hall of Famer, uh, you know, you said you fought some legends. Where do you see yourself moving forward with this? Is it other names like this? Do you want to keep facing legends like this? Or are you talking about rankings, moving that, that sort of thing? Where do you see yourself? If a ranking comes, I'm not crying, you know, but I want to fight all the legends. You know, I'm, I want to be the legend getter, you know. Not the legend killer. I just want to get in there with all of them, you know. Who knows who's next? You know, only God knows that question, but I'm ready for any of them. Nico, over here. Right here. How's it going? Uh, hey, yeah, good to see you. Um, you. You mentioned training with Ben Askren and, and all that in Wisconsin. What was the connection uh, there? Like, who did you reach out to them? They reach out to you. How did that all come together? I had a buddy who uh, trains over there. He's one of the coaches over there, and he came down to Florida. I actually met him at like a semi-pro football team mm -hmm. or a semi-pro football game, and uh, the kid he was in the corner about 30 feet away, and he's like, "Yo, is that Nico Price?" And I happened to hear him, and I was like, "Yeah, what's up, man?" And then. From there on, he came to the gym, and then we talked. He's like, yeah, I trained at Askren's over there. He talked to Ben, and then he goes, I also trained at Duke's, and then talked to Duke, and just went out there for a couple of weeks. We got some sponsors to cover it up. They covered the pricing and got it done. Obviously, Askren fought Robbie Lawler, had a whole camp for him. How much insight did he give to you this camp? He gave me some good little pointers and stuff to, like, look out for for him, just stuff they looked for, because the fight he had with Robbie was totally, like, you know, that's it was like a weird a, one, yeah. Yeah, that was a weird fight. <laughs> yeah. Robbie took him down, and then a bulldog choke occurred. You know, that doesn't, that's like one of the few bulldog chokes in the game, you know. Would you say this camp was a bit better in the sense that, and I know you miss your family, but you also don't have to be a dad. You can kind of just focus on fighting. Do you feel like this camp was maybe a bit better than other ones just from that perspective? Uh, it, was, it was weird. You know, I got to feel what it felt like to not have kids, which is I really actually don't like. My kids are my motivation, you know. So, like, that's why we almost left Milwaukee and uh, Father's Day because I was like, dude, I got to see my kids, you know. Like, my other, some of my babies are like, you need to come home. You know, when are you coming home? Tomorrow, right? And I'm like, ah, we got three more weeks, man. Sorry, Micah. You know, I'll be home soon, though. But, yeah, it was weird to me actually being able to sleep at night. You know, normally I'm getting kicked by babies and kids all night or someone cries, I gotta get up and run over there and just see what he, what's happening because of the parent parent feeling like, oh God, something happened, get over there. <laughs> but uh, and, and I was just gonna ask, uh, does this change your corner at all as far as who will be in the cage with you on Saturday? 
No, I have my same corner. Uh, my only new corner would be my wrestling coach I'm bringing in this time. Okay. So he'll be in there with me. And just last one for me, are you surprised this fight's not on the main card with it being Robbie's retirement fight? Um, I don't know. The whole entire card stacked. You know, there's a lot of prospects coming up. There's a lot of great fighters on the card. So, you know, we fall where we fall. Simple as that. Nico, over here. Uh, in the past, we've heard fighters, when they've had to leave their families, like it being away from them for so long, it makes them kind of hate their opponent. Like, you're the guy. You're the reason I'm not mm -hmm. around them. Is, does, are you a guy like that? Is that any moment in your mind where, like, Robbie's the guy that I have to do this for? No. I'm not like that at all. I saw Robbie in the hotel yesterday, and I walked over to him and shook his hand. and was like, what's up, legend? You know, like, I got nothing against him, man. You know, I just know that this is my job. It's part of the business. And I, I chose to take this opportunity to go away and train five weeks at a new area where I'm not comfortable. You know, so uncomfort builds greatness. And I was just ready to get it done now. Kind of going off of your interaction with Robbie, he seems like a, a guy that a lot of fight like I, there's not many fighters that dislike Robbie Lawler. So I'm mm -hmm. curious, like, do you have a favorite fight memory of, of Robbie's, like a favorite fight from watching his career? Um, yes, I do. The Roy McDonald fight is awesome. You know, that's just a fight of two warriors not quitting. And then Robbie screaming at someone with three lips. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I would say that's probably one of the favorite. Just over here, uh, just going off the back of that, do you have any other memories or, uh, you know, any other words to say about Robbie and his career, perhaps? Uh, to me, it was, it's a, he's a legend, man. He had the belt, defended the belt in spectacular fashion. He's just been in the sport for over 20 years. You know, he started at 18, I think, fighting, like, professionally. I started at 18, but I wasn't professional at 18, you know, he was... He was in there knocking people out on camera at 18. So, <laughs> you know, I've been talking about this fight since I was 18. You know, like when I started, I found out who he was and what he's done. I was like, man, one day, what if we get in there with Robbie? And, and then, like I've been telling everyone, the email came through, and I was like, yeah, let's go. It's here. Time to go. And someone that's also been inducted into the Hall of Fame is uh, Cerrone, Donald Cerrone, mm -hmm. who you fought before in the past. Do you have any thoughts on his career and him being inducted into the Hall of Fame? They're both legends. You know, in my eyes, I have utmost respect for them both. You know, they've done things that I haven't got to do yet, but I will be doing. And lastly, can I get a prediction how you think the main event this weekend is going to go down between Volkanovski and Rodriguez? I'm definitely a Volk fan. Like, Volkanovski is a beast. You know, he's well-rounded everywhere. Um, Yari is, he's spontaneous everywhere. Me and him sort of have the same type of style. He's just a, a jumper and a spinner, you know? And I lay on my back and heel kick people. But, but no, I'm going to be going with Volk because he's earned my respect. I got to talk to him. We both like doing fun things, hanging out with our family, paddle boarding, all types of craziness, so... Nico, um, Robbie's last fight over here. Here, right. uh, I see you. <laughs> Robbie's last fight was on last year's international fight versus Brian Morgan. I just want to see if you got to catch that fight. What did you make of that fight? Yeah, that fight was great. He was doing really good, man. And then elbows change everything. You know, you get hit with an elbow, it's like getting hit with a mallet. You know, not a rubber mallet. Good old steel one. <laughs> and uh, you're, you're back in the team all the arena. Uh, same stuff, you know, it's, we get to come in here, we get to talk to all you cool people, you know, you get to see a bunch of other cool people, just a great experience all around. Nico, my friend, I, this fight uh, against Robbie, you know, you've fallen a legend, I think 15 times already up here, this mm -hmm. is the biggest betting favor you've been in the UFC, I'm just kind of curious, like, do you, do you take that as a pride of honor that the odds makers at least think they you're this much better than someone like Robbie I don't even look at the betting, man. I'm not a better. I just go in there and I give it 1,000% every time I'm in there. You can expect that every time I'm in there, that I'm coming for the finish, and I'm going to give everything I have until I die. Perfect. And then I'm just curious, obviously, in Vegas this week, I'm curious what your favorite thing about Las Vegas is. Uh, the heat makes it easy to cut weight. <laughs>